Hey guys, how's it going? It is New Year's Day, so Happy New Year's. Um, makes me uh, want to post a video about avoiding alcohol during the holidays. It seems to be something, especially going through forums, um, that is a big deal to people. And it, it's a big deal to me because this is, a, this is actually the first New Year's um, that I probably have been sober in probably seven or eight years. Uh, and it was a big deal and it wasn't like a it wasn't a huge struggle but it was kind of the you know if I would just kind of ignore it and try to focus on doing something else or watch TV or eat or do something else to satisfy me a little bit and try to visit with family and get into deep conversations it seemed to help me not think about the alcohol um, I went to a family member's house and a couple people were visiting and they had a couple beers and uh, it, it bothered me initially um, but after you know about 20 minutes you know I sat down and made sure that I ate and I didn't think about it and it just kind of wore off and you know I woke up today and I was happy that I made it through last night without relapsing or drinking or you know messing up my streak or anything like that so I'm proud of myself, I'm happy, um, and it was nice to actually experience a New Year's Eve, you know, sober. I actually ended up going to bed at like, or falling asleep at like 10.30. My wife was surprised, she was like, Phew, you're going to bed at 10.30 on a, on New Year's Eve? And I was like, yeah, I just don't feel it today. And um, You know, and if, it, holidays shouldn't be like, not fun, um, because you can't drink, but you know, if you gotta avoid situations like parties and things like that, then that's something that you should do. Um, Christmas parties and things like that where there's a lot of alcohol, you don't wanna put yourself in that situation. So, um, if I were you, I'd, I'd hold family co close to you and if you have a family that just drinks all the time, then you may have to ask them if they can maybe wait till you leave or, I mean, you're just gonna have to have people that support you, you know, close to you. You gotta be around people that support your habit. Maybe if nobody's gonna change that and you know that you have a weakness, then maybe you should avoid that situation. And yeah, that sucks, but maybe the next year or something like that, it'll be a little bit easier and you don't, you won't have to worry about it. And it's not worth it the next day when you wake up anyways after you drink on a holiday or something and that's how you relapse. It's just you feel so depressed. So I encourage all of you to continue today on New Year's, but continue forward, continue uh, Christmas and Easter and you know if you were me if it was Arbor Day I was going to get yeah, I was gonna go get a 30 pack and like drink to it or if it was like grandparents day or something I would get like an 18 pack and just down it like grandparents you know it was just like every little holiday like I acted like I was like a veteran on Veterans Day and like got super drunk or all that <laughs> I don't know it's just um you gotta you gotta stay strong through the holidays and just remember what the holidays actually about instead of worrying about how drunk you can get on the holiday let's actually think about the symbolic reasons we have holidays and celebrate it so thank you for watching this video stay strong if you're recovering or if you're trying not to drink just hang in there do the best you can like this video comment down below if you have any suggestions for people who are trying to stay sober during the holidays also, check out my channel. I have a lot of great videos on anxiety, depression, panic disorder, drinking, drug abuse, tobacco use, all that. So, check out my channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Happy holidays.